I have been involved in Aboriginal issues since I've been about 18 or 19, uh, but it really is only in the last five years that I have been so heavily involved uh, in education. And one thing that becomes immediately evident to you when you start to get involved in education is the huge debt that we owe to Trent University. This was the first uh, university to have a university quality programs in Aboriginal, in Aboriginal studies. And when I speak at other universities, it's impossible to do so without really remembering that the great debt that every university, every college, and to be quite honest, every high school and grade school student owes to this institution. Um, I can only imagine at that time what it must have taken to make this break breakthrough. I can only imagine the board meetings at Trent when in fact Tom Simon says this is the kind of thing that we must do if in fact we're going to build this country. Um, I would love to have been, uh, I'd love to have been a, a fly in the wall and I'd love to have had somebody filming that. Because I can tell you that when you talk about great moments in Canadian history, that would have been one of them. I just want to go back and say since 1969 when the program was established, right, the program has just still has gradually expanded over the years and it moved into a master's program with the Fraud Center and it also moved into a PhD program in 2000, or 1999. So we've been out now for at least at the PhD level since um, I guess now 14 years or so, so it's almost 15 years that we've been uh, training the PhD students. And our goal was to train another generation of scholars, people who go out and begin to work in other universities who knew about Indigenous studies, who knew the basic approach. And so far, most of our graduates have gone on to work uh, in other universities, have uh, tenured uh, faculty positions, which are rare these days, right? as, as everyone knows. And so it's been quite good. I was, uh, two years ago, I went to Guyana with a couple of our uh, top researchers here who have uh, connections to South America, and we went from Georgetown into essentially a, an Aboriginal community in the interior of Guyana. So we're very remote, very distant. And uh, it was amazing to me that one of the things that we talked about while we were there was Trent University's Indigenous Studies program, and they knew about that. They knew about that program, and they were aware of the leadership that had been provided uh, by others, and they certainly were very interested in, in the perspectives that, that we shared about the development of that program and how, as a university, we have decided to recognize indigenous knowledge as one of the valid ways, a valid way of understanding and interpreting the world. And they were uh, aware of that and they were actually very proud of that and they wanted that to be something that we, we could uh, help them do in their own country. So it's, uh, it's something that has, I think, a great, uh, um, uh, it has influenced uh, others in, in other, other parts of the world to, to, uh, and we should be very proud of that.